Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To set up payroll and employee defaults, select Maintain from the menu bar, roll down to the Payroll command, and then choose the Payroll Setup Wizard. Now you must set up your payroll item defaults before you can set your employee defaults. Sage50 understands that, and even if you tried to select Maintain, Default Information, and then Employees from the menu bar to set up your employee defaults first, it would instead launch the Payroll Setup Wizard to make you set up your payroll items first. Now in Sage 50, as you complete the Payroll Setup Wizard by answering questions in each screen, you'll come to the Payroll Options section. And here you can choose either to use the Sage 50 Full Service Payroll by selecting that option button, or you can choose to do it yourself in-house. Now if you want Sage 50 to assist in payroll and update payroll tax tables for you, then choose the Full Service Payroll option and click the Order Online Now button or select the checkbox to specify that you've already enrolled in the service. If you choose to do it yourself in-house, then note that you cannot update any of the tax tables within Sage 50. Only users who subscribe to one of the payroll options can edit tax tables. If you elect to perform payroll in-house, then you must calculate payroll information through an external application, such as Microsoft Excel, for example, and then enter the values into the payroll fields within Sage 50. You can print the paychecks in Sage 50. However, you will not have access to payroll tax forms or payroll formulas. You can also run payroll reports except for the exception report, the payroll tax report, the tax liability report, and the sick and vacation report. At this point, you then use the Next and Vac buttons to navigate through a series of questions presented in different panes that collect standard payroll information for your company file. It's very much like the wizard that's used to set up the Sage 50 company file. Now the Payroll Setup Wizard guides you through the process of setting up your default payroll general ledger accounts, standard payroll fields, and optional payroll fields such as 401k, vacation time, and sick time. Now once you are finished answering questions and setting up the default payroll items for your company file, you may then set up the employee defaults for your company file if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.